Good morning, everyone. So today I'm going to do the actual uh, reveal of 2026. I'm going to actually open it for the first time. I got it installed. Uh, installed several of them yesterday. So I'm going to do a quick little opening and then just talk about some of the new features. This will be probably part one. Uh, so let's go through that process. So I'm going to go open this for the first time. I've actually just downloaded it. I haven't opened it. So let's go. Open up 2026. Then we'll see if we get any error messages. Let's see how long it takes to open for the first time. I should have put a timer on this and see actually how long it takes to open um, on the first initial boot up. Go through that process. I'll be using, you know, starting Monday, 2026, right off the bat. All right, we got it open. As you can see here, we are we're at our home dashboard. Uh, if I open a new drawing and it says read only, yes. Okay, let me expand this. There we go. Now there's not a lot of changes you might see on the ribbon. Uh, um, if I go through here, you won't see, everything looks pretty the same. Um, there are a few design tools in here that's been included, um, but let's talk about one of the features here. So I'm gonna go, if you don't, re if you remember, when you have a large surface, um, you can actually use the crop surface feature. Well, they've taken that and incorporated it into the data shortcuts, okay? So I'm gonna open up a project real quick. Let's see if I can find something here that I could use as an example. Okay. Let's go through some projects. Let me think of one that's kind of fairly decent size. Um, put this in order. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see, which one would be a good size? Let's do this one. Okay, and I'll open up the survey with this example. I think this is 50 acres. Okay, and I'm gonna uh, use the data shortcut tool here. So I'm gonna say set working folder and go point to that uh, location. We'll have our CCLS tools ready to go on Monday for those that are using our uh, suite tools. So that will be ready and available uh, to download Monday. Okay. Uh, let's go through here. What was it called? Uh, yeah, resort. I think. Okay, there we go. All right. So you can see here, there's my existing surface. I'll open a new drawing. Uh, and I can bring that in. Say create reference. I'll do one and five like background. Click OK. And then do zoom extents. So what you saw here is that's the typical way we uh, commonly bring in a data reference. But I'm going to change things up a little bit. I'm going to create a little boundary and just say, I want this to be brought in. So I'm gonna kind of redo it, delete that, and bring it back in, say, create reference. And then at the bottom, say, reference part of the surface, check that checkbox, and I'll click OK, and then select this boundary, and there we go. So now I have a kind of a boundary around that data reference. So this is basically what they took, is they took that uh, object that used to be crop surfaces, and let's see if it's still there, um, under, I remember where it was under maybe it was on the home tab and honestly, I think it was under here great yeah right here so basically they've included that feature now into the um, data shortcuts which is a really great okay so it was kind of working the exact same way you would get a notification when you do a crop surface if the existing uh, original surface was updated you get a, a, a little update same thing here for the data shortcut. So this is just one of the latest tools that have been incorporated into 2026. I'll create some more videos, talk about the new uh, other additions that have been added to it. So thanks for watching. All right, bye.